All right, if you're changing your under sink drain pipe under a kitchen sink, I'm going to go over all the steps and show you a couple different options. Uh, the first thing you're going to be looking for when you change your pipe is whether you have a center outlet where you have two tubes connecting directly in the center or you're going to have an end outlet where it's actually going to be a T that starts here on one side and then it connects both of them. Um, what you want to consider is where your main drain is. If it's pretty much in the center, you want a center outlet. If this drain pipe were off to one side, then you would want an end outlet. On the sink basket, we're going to connect a small tailpiece, and there's different sizes depending on the application, but this is the most common that you'll find in a kit. And we're going on to a metal sink basket, so you want to use a metal nut to the metal thread and the rest of this is going to be plastic to plastic but if you have metal thread metal nut we're going to drop it in and for a sink basket we're going to use a specialized sink basket washer tailpiece washer and it has a flange on one side that's going to set into the tailpiece and the top of it is perfectly smooth to connect flat against the bottom of the sink so i'll do this on both sides and then we'll go to the next step all right, on the tailpiece, we're going to put a nut and a washer pointing down to the next piece. And so I prefer the nylon washers. They're beveled down, and that smaller bevel goes into the slip joint. And when you compress it, it gives a wonderful watertight seal, and it doesn't dry out and crack over time like rubber does. So we'll slip on our nuts like this, put our washer on with the beveled edge down. And now we're going to see the spacing for the center outlet. And as we slip this in, you can see we're off. We're going to need to cut down this piece probably by about a half an inch. And they're very easy to cut. That's why I like plastic for all my drain pipe because it'll last forever and doesn't rust through it. And it's much cheaper than the metal. So I'm going to mark this. We'll cut it with a hacksaw and then we'll put this center piece together. All right, I cut this piece down so that it fits into the T here and we want to make sure that we put the nut and the washer again with the bevel pointing into where we're going to connect it and we're going to put the shorter side that I cut toward the right because I want to try to center this as much as possible with the main stub out where the thing's going to drain so now I'm going to connect this just tighten it by hand just so we can get our spacing I'll connect it up that and then we'll go to the next step. All right, now we have two things to consider when we're putting this wall tube into the drain, the main drain, is we need to make sure this is going to line up with the pipe coming down here and that's the beauty of the J-Bend. It's going to allow us to pivot this if we need to be straight in or if we need to be offset a little bit and we also need some distance here. So you can see we've got a gap. I've got it connected here just by hand and we have this gap. We're connecting a dishwasher and we could do one of two things here. If we didn't have the dishwasher we would just get a, an extension tube and we would slip it in and we would measure it and we would cut it to size and just slip it all together. In this case we're going to use an extension tube that has a little tailpiece here and we're going to connect our dishwasher to it. Whenever you're connecting a dishwasher to a drain you've got to make sure that this inlet where the drain is coming in from the dishwasher is above your J-bend. So now I'll measure this up and we'll go to the next step. Okay, on the tailpiece with a plastic P-trap like this, this has a beveled end to it and so your nut sets down on this beveled end. You don't need a washer at all here. So this is going to set in just like a beveled washer and we're going to tighten this down. And this is one area where sometimes people get confused they try putting a washer here and we're just going to slip this in to where this is lining up and you can see how deep this pipe slips down to here and so now it slips down into the next section and I'm just going to give us a little room so I'm going to make a mark here and that's going to line up real nice I'll cut this with a hacksaw and then we'll slip it in and get our spacing cut my extension pipe to size and I'm going to slip it up. I've got a nut and a washer above it and we'll just snug that down and now I'm going to take my trap. I've got a nut and a washer above it 
and we'll just line it up to make sure everything is placed properly and in this case we've got the dishwasher drain so this is what we're going to connect to it I'll cut this to the proper size and then we'll put a hose clamp here if you didn't have a drain washer again you would just use just a, an extension pipe in this place and now I'll go back I'll tighten all of the nuts plastic going to the plastic thread here I've got metal going up to metal and the stub out that the main drain is going into is metal so I'm using a metal nut here and those are the steps to change the under sink uh, drain pipe for a kitchen sink